So it's not much more for me to say. I hope your appetite has been whetted. I just shared two or three thoughts with you. I sat up all of last night reading the book. I've done a few book releases before, and I've always believed, at least until I got this book, that there are three categories of human beings in relation to books. Those that write books, people like Kamal, those that read books, people like yourselves, and those that release books. <laughs> so last night, I moved into category two because uh, Tamil is, uh, as you would have noticed, and many of you know him very well, a somewhat difficult critic to deal with. And if I came here without reading the book, the ignorance would have shown on my face, and I thought it's much safe, safer, safety lay in actually reading it and coming. Having read the book, I can tell you that it is, and I think somebody said this about his earlier book, it is unputdownable. So I lost a lot of sleep last night. I read it in one sitting, cover to cover. Like all of you, I was interested in the story. Let me say this, I don't think the story has been fully told. And I think it will need a lot of effort on his part to do a follow-up to see that the rest of the story is also shared with us. This is in some sense the appetizer. This is a big story that is waiting to be played out. I think we're going to see a whole lot happen. I must be very careful here because I know that there is an ongoing court case the merits of which are yet to be decided on. Therefore, I am not commenting on the merits of Sahara in relation to any of the regulators that it has had to confront in its long journey. Let me also make a personal statement, which is that it's close to seven years since I vacated the regulatory position. My successor's successor is on an extended tenure. So I am really part of ancient Indian regulatory history. And therefore, to describe me as competent to comment on this is, I think, a little stretched. <laughs>